we're retrieving the uh, list of courses from a, a uh, remote uh, server. And the way we implemented it was to, uh, to, um, uh, to use a fetch right on, in the, uh, on ng on init. Okay? And, and that's fine, right? We're, we're able to retrieve the data. We are rendering it dynamically and whatnot. So it's, it's working just fine. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not following best practices, right? Ideally, what we want to do is to, um, you know, to encapsulate this, uh, this behavior of, of interacting with a, with a remote server, you know, to encapsulate inside of a modular reusable uh, component, right, that can, can then be shared amongst multiple uh, other components, right? So what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to uh, create a service in a dedicated uh, directory. So we're going to create a new directory. We'll call it uh, services. Right. And under service, services, we're going to create a new file here, a new TypeScript file, and we'll call it um, course service client. Okay, and we're going to add it to our Git. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a, a new class, and we'll say uh, export class course service, very good. And what we'll do here is that we're going to bring this, this executable of this fetch and this uh, parsing of the JSON body, right? we're going to bring it into, into, uh, into this uh, core service client. And we're going to wrap it inside of a reusable function right? that we, so we can call it from the outside world. So we'll call this something like find all courses. Right? And this uh, find all courses will be just a, a function that it will call on that fetch. There we go. Right? Once we have that, um, what we might want to do is that we, the way we would use it is either instantiating it, you know, as new and whatnot, uh, or better yet, uh, what we can do is uh, use one of the design patterns that Angular promotes uh, of using inversion of control, uh, where we export this uh, as uh, something that can be injected dynamically into other classes uh, that they can ask for it uh, by, um, by name. And the way to do that is to annotate this uh, with the uh, annotation uh, injectable. So injectable is the equivalent in Java of doing something, declaring something as a service or as a component, right? So that they can be auto-wired, right, from the uh, on the other side, right? So this is this is pretty much the, the same the same uh, idea here. Um, and, uh, and and then once you do that in the component, you can then ask for an instance. Of this of this uh, object, an instance of this class, you know, by name, you can say, I, I want, I'm, I can declare here a variable called service, right, of the type core service client, right, and and what will will happen here is that when when Angular parses your class and sees that in the constructor you're asking for an instance of this variable, right, of this of this class. It will instantiate it for you, and it will pass a reference to you. Okay, very much like you would do in Java. You know, in Java, you could do it two ways, right? You can do you can declare a variable as an auto wired, right? And and Java will instantiate it for you as a bean, right? Uh, an instance of a bean, and then pass it to you and and uh, and give you a reference to the variable. Uh, or in Java, you could also uh, you do it through the constructor, right? So uh, uh, along with the default constructor. You can create additional constructors where you can ask for these variables in the constructor, and it will, pa be, pa will be passed to you, and then you can copy it into a local reference. Yes. So the same thing here. Same thing here, right? Uh, now we have a. Uh, we can use this. Uh, this service. Right? We can replace this. We can replace this and say uh, this dot service dot find all courses, right? And then the dot then. See that. Uh, this is a much better implementation. Now that service uh, is available across the entire application. Other components can use it, right, as opposed to being implemented only here in this one component. Right? If it's only in this component, it's, it can't be reused. Yes. Instead, we put it in a common place so that other folks can use it. Also, it's using uh, a, design a design pattern, uh, the singleton design pattern, uh, where when I ask for an instance of this service, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting the same instance that anybody else could uh, would get, right? So if you have multiple components asking for this same service, it would be the same instance being shared amongst multiple components, right? As opposed to everybody having its own 
uh, instance or go, going around. So again, a lot of best practices here. Uh, one last thing for this to actually work, uh, this needs to be declared in the, uh, in the app modules. In the app modules, uh, we need to declare, declare it as a provider, as a service provider. Right, so we need to declare it right here as a service provider. Uh, once we do that, it should work. Let's go back to our client, and we, if we refresh, notice that indeed, you know, we it's still it's still working. Okay.